Hello, my name is Derek Franklin, and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Go Engineer. In this quick tip video, I want to show you how we can manually create and remove user-defined references inside of Enterprise PDM. Now, CAD files such as SolidWorks files typically have references that tie parts to assemblies, parts or assemblies to drawings, etc. However, it is sometimes desirable to create references between Office documents, PDFs, images, and other file types. Users can manually create references between files inside of Enterprise PDM, and that is what I want to show you again today in this quick tip video. So let's begin. In this example, I'm going to attach this Word document to my will part here, which is a SOLIDWORKS part file. So to begin, the first thing that we need to do is check out the parent file. Parent file meaning the file to which I want to attach my Word document. So I'm going to right click on my will part here and select the option check out. The next thing I need to do is go ahead and attach the reference. So I'm going to right click on my Word document, click on copy. Then what I want to do is right click on the parent file again to paste as reference. So I'm going to select this option, paste as reference. When I do so, the create file references dialog box comes up. And this is showing me that it is going to attach the Word document to the parent file will part. Okay. A couple of columns that you see here, the add reference box with the check just means that it's going to attach the reference. The show in bill of materials column, if this box is selected, it means that it will show this actual Word document in the bill of materials for that part. And also the last column here, quantity, just if I wanted to specify a particular quantity for that document, I could change that here. So I'm just going to click OK. And then right click on the parent file and recheck it in. So now if I go to my Bill of Materials tab, I see that the spec uh, Word document is listed there. And also on my Contains tab for the will part, I see that it is indeed listed as a reference there. Now just as we created a user-defined reference, we can also remove a user-defined reference. So to do that, the first thing I need to do again is check out the parent file. So I'm going to come up here and check out my will part. However, when the checkout dialog box comes up, make sure that the actual reference that you are removing is not checked out. So do not select the checkout uh, box under the checkout column for the reference. Then what I can do over here on my Contains tab, I'm going to come over here and click on this option that says View or Edit User Defined References. And when I click on that, my Edit User Defined uh, File References dialog box comes up, and I can simply just deselect the box under the Reference column for that reference. Click OK. Right click on the parent file again and recheck it in. And now as you can see, that reference is no longer there. As I look on the Contains tab for that real part, um, the Word document is no longer specified. And also back on my Bill of Materials tab, the Word document is no longer there. So again, this video has been to show you how you can create and remove user-defined references inside of Enterprise PDM. I hope this was helpful. Again, my name is Derek Franklin with Go Engineer. Have a great day.